so these are all the accessories that are provided with the p10 diy starter kit so we have two p10 panels here each one of these panels are 16 by 32 pixels and uh, apart from that we have this smps power supply which is a 5 volt dc and 10 ampere current power supply along with that this starter kit comes with a controller card which we will see how to use one main card two pin main card three power connector cables and two data cables so let us see how to assemble this diy starter kit so first of all we have these panels with us so let us try to see what is there on the back side of these panels so we have two frc connectors here one with the inward arrow and another one is with the outward arrow so our data will go from the inward arrow and cascading will happen with using the outward arrow frc connector so the data cables which we have we have to connect to the inward data connector and the another one another panel which we have we have to connect the outward data connector to inward data connector of the first panel so our data the display data will come from this side and we have to connect our LED controller card output to this particular input data connector now we have to give power supply to both of these panels which that power supply will come from the SMPS itself the 5 volt 10 ampere power supply so one second so there are two wires in this power connector cable one is red another one is black so red one will always go with the VCC of the panels and the black one will always go with the ground of the panel so on the panel power connector we have this uh, VCC connect VCC connection and this is a, this one is the ground connection so connect the red wire with the VCC and the black wire with the ground now in order to supply power supply to both of these panels just use the same cable to connect the power to the another panel so again the red one will go to the VCC and the black one will go to the ground please make sure that you don't connect them wrongly otherwise there are chances that the panels will get damaged so please be careful while connecting the power connectors now in order to supply the final supply to both of these panels you have to connect these connect one more connector to the SMPS now this connector will go to the output DC power output of the SMPS so in the SMPS we have V minus 2 V minus output and 2 V plus outputs so both of these outputs are basically plus 5 volt and ground and this is our mains input AC input live and neutral connectors so uh, again the red one will go to the V plus and the black one will go to the V minus so here I have connected the red one the V plus and black one with the V minus now we have this controller card let's open this controller card So on this controller card this is the USB connector from where we will supply the new data to this controller card. This is the test button input which you can press to test if the system is working fine or not. The power connector so to supply the 5 volt power supply to the controller board you have to connect the output of 5 volt, 5 volt output of the SMPS to this connector and 
Now finally we have the data output connector. So we have three connectors here. One is hub 8 kind and we have two hub 12 connector here. So in this case we will be using hub 12 connectors. So take one data, another data cable which is supplied with the kit and see this red, this pink color wire is there. So align that pink color wire with the arrow which is there on the PCB. So this is data output and this data output connector will go to the data input connector of the panels. So here we have our data input connector. I connect this to my data input connector. Now the remaining things are that we have to supply power to the controller card and we have to connect the main squad to AC line so that we can supply the main power to the system. So there is another power supply cable which is provided with the kit. So you just connect red of this to the VCC of the controller card. And black to the ground of this controller card. And connect it to the SIMPS so that the card can get the 5 volt power supply. So the red one will again go to the V plus. And the black one will go to the V minus. Finally we connect the mains cord to our SMPS so that the mains power can be supplied to the system. So this is a 2 pin mains cord with live and neutral wires. So just connect these to the designated connectors on the SMPS. Now we are done with all the connections. So just to see quickly what we have done here is we are giving the 5 volt power to the LED controller card from one 5 volt output of the SMPS and another 5 volt output of the SMPS is used to supply power to the panels and this panel will get the power from the SMPS and the same power is connected to another panel and the data output from the controller card which is hub 12 type data output is going to the first panel data input connector and since we are using the cascaded 2 display we are giving the data out from the first panel to the data in of the second panel now let us try to run this and see if everything is working fine or not so I am just connecting this main cord And switching it on. You can buy this P10 LED display DIY starter kit at rarecomponents.com. Thank you for watching.